Alright guys, sorry about that uh, hiccup. The uh, reason that occurred was because um, what I do when I create these is I have a backup project um, and that pretty much means I like create the entire project for you and then I um, will recreate it in case I ever need to look back. So the reason all this garbage was happening is because I was actually typing inside the test project instead of the one we were creating and that created problems and got Eclipse confused. So long story short, you guys are fine. It was only my side that got messed up, which is kind of ironic. Anyway, continuing on, let's get back to where we were. So we were going to create some method objects and let's do that right now. So first one is save content and we'll set that equal to save file. I meant, oops, we're going to name that save file equals new save content. Okay. And we haven't returned any errors, which means we're good to go. And then we're going to make a color management one. And let's name this color class equals new color management. Management. I think that's spelled correctly. And then we're going to make one font management font class equals new font management and that's good and then we're going to create our last one which is main main equals new main not mayan okay so that's all we need to create for these method objects so you guys remember what this means what this allows us to do is call these methods from this class that's honestly all it does i think you already knew that but just in case so once we've done that, we're going to add one quick thing. Let's see. So in our init method, we are going to create some variables. We are going to create a font called font. We are going to create a color called color. And then we're going to set color equal to color class dot get color. So let me import font really quickly. So what this pretty much means is that we're going to set the color of this color variable to the color we selected in our color class. Now I know I've said the color a million times, but just remember that we have this color class and in that class we selected a color. Now we are setting that color we selected to this color variable. So hopefully that didn't confuse you. Hopefully I'm doing something right. We'll see. Then we're going to set the font equal to font class dot get font so remember when we created these um, these returns so this is where they come in handy you see we're using this return uh, method to get the font in this class so that's why they come in handy when you need them and this is one of those times so once we've done that we are also going to do something else um, let's scroll down to our action performed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set or we are going to work with the save button. So what do we want to do when we press the save button? Well we want to call the save class. So let's type save file dot save and it's going to ask for a JTEXT pane. So we can give it our text area because what's it going to save? Well it's going to save our text area. Then we have our color combo. What do we want to do with that? So the first thing we want to do is we want to call the select color method. So we do that by typing color class dot select color. Now this is going to select an argument. That's why it's returning an error. So the argument we want to give it is our color combo, which is that box we created. Um, and then we want to get selected item dot to string. So what this pretty much means is it's going to get the color you've selected inside your color combo box and it's going to turn it into a string and send it to that color class. So remember the color, so for example, say I selected purple, it would send purple to the color class and the color class would say, oh, you want to set the color to purple. All right, I can do that for you. Same thing if I did green, etc. Then we're going to set the text area to that color we selected. So we type text area dot set for ground and we're going to give it the color class 
dot color. So remember we had that return method, which would get the color of our color class that we selected. Now we're going to do the same thing for font. So we do font class dot select font, and we're going to pass in font combo, not font corn dot get selected item dot to string and then we're going to pass it in an integer because we want to send it how we want to give it the font size so remember we created that slider this is where the slider is coming in so let's get the value of our slider so let's do font size dot get value simple as that then we're going to set the text area to our font we selected. So let's do text area dot set font and let's pass in font class dot that's uppercase L font class dot get font. So what this means is that we're going to set our text area our text area's font to the specific font that we selected. So that's really all that means. And I I'm almost positive that's it. I actually think we're good done guys and I'm really excited so let's check this out let's run this save and see if we did okay always moment of truth here we should have to give it a second okay walks word process that should say word processor but it doesn't fit that's okay so I am going to test this by typing a ton of stuff in here and seeing if it works. I would suggest that you guys do the same. Okay, so go ahead, test it out. Let's say I want the font serif. All right, that font looks good. Let's say I want monospaced. I like that one. Let's say I want the font to be a little bit bigger. Let's increase the size to 25, and let's set it to monospaced. That's a little too big. Let's bring it back down. All right, what do I want the color to be? Let's set it to purple. That looks good. Orange? Orange is kind of hard to see. Black? Black looks good. Blue? I like blue. All right, <laughs> this is our word processor, guys. Let's save it. Let's press the Save button. Here's our Save dialog. Let's select the desktop. And let's save this as um, best story. And it's going to say save as a rich text format to our desktop. OK. Now I'm going to open Microsoft Word, and I will see you in a second. And we're back. This is our work, guys. This is all the stuff you've been working for. This is Microsoft Word 2013. And this is the file we created. We programmed this entire thing, and I'm so proud of you if you actually followed along. Here is ours, and this is Microsoft Word. So, that's all there is to it, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.